Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia. Perfect for now. Last time, we died. Er, well, Raul did, but we undid that. But even so, yeah, we can no longer continue on alternate history because we don't know how to fix Ross's arm. So let's go back to standard history. And you might recall from the when we went through the sewers there, there was a little girl that I pointed out in there that leads to the escort side quest, but I decided not to do that. So that's why there's that empty node placing there. We'll get that eventually, but not right now. I want to show off something if you don't get it, but if you already did, it's not critical. But let's see. Well, if you didn't get these two chests before, you can, but yeah, I've already done that. So let's see. If you recall, in standard history, we were sent here by Heist to assassinate Princess Erica. And yeah, we it wouldn't couldn't be wise to break stay. through by but ourselves. But Rainy, Marco, let's go right through. Ballsy, stupid, but ballsy. Huh? You sure about that? Didn't I just say it was crawling with guards? Oh, sorry. I uh, must have skipped over that. Don't tell me we're going to take them all on. Sure, why not? I'm a one-man army. No. Like I said, we can't risk raising the alarm. That too. So. So what? So? You gonna show me a magic trick? Whoa! Is that... So yeah, if you got that ability in alternate history... It's a special technique that hides one's presence. Yeah, we can move forward with the plot now. I saw Heiss use it. And I asked for a brief lesson. <laughs> a lesson? Yeah, okay. That was all it took to learn it? Man, you're really something. That's amazing, Stock. I didn't think anyone but Heist would be capable of that. No, of course not, Marco. Now you're just talking crazy. <laughs> Is there anything you can't do? No, not really. Regardless, they should make getting through the guards considerably easier. Well, good luck, Stock, but what about Rainy and Marco? They can't do it. Let's move. Or are you just gonna extend your cloak over them or something or other? Something like that. I mean, we gotta carry the full party through. I'm surprised if they would want to do an assassination, they would send a whole team. I would think you'd want, you know, just one person to do the job. More likely to that get through. better than we could have hoped. It was still a little frightening, though. What do you mean? That was incredible, Stock. All that's left is to find the target's room. It could be anywhere. Nuts. This is bigger than Alistel's castle, so a thorough search may be difficult. I didn't think it was that much bigger. I suppose we'll just have to be persistent. Seems so. We have no idea which room is the princess's, after all. Maybe we should have scouted that information. Then we'll just have to search them one by one. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> you know me too well, Stock. But stay vigilant. We still can't afford to get caught. Can we get caught later? Would that be okay? Can we afford to do that? But, alright. Let's take a look around. Oh, yeah. I kind of noticed that. Hmm. A little too quiet, if you ask me. What's up here? Oh, okay. Yeah, that just leads right out the front gates. So, yeah, we don't want to go that way. But I do want to go up here, even though this is in the wrong direction. But if you go over here... Ha-ha! That's hidden treasure. A little more money. Can never have enough of that. I do plan on buying stuff with the money I've got. So just because it looks like I have a lot, don't let that fool you. But let's see. No one's here. They practicing a fire drill or something? I mean, I thought Erica might have been in the throne room harassing her mom or something. Or nagging her. But let's see, if we go down here... Haha! Mm -hmm. -ha! Find some more hidden treasure at the playground. Or training area. Okay, that works too. Wait! Did you see her? The princess? Where? Quiet. Up there, on the terrace. Oh yeah, that is her. 
That's... I only got a glimpse from behind, but that's gotta be Princess Erica. She had beautiful golden hair. The rumors were spot on. Not for long. We might be able to climb up if we use those vines. Oh, that makes the job easy. All right. Let's go over the mission briefing once more. Our target is Princess Erica. Rainy, you set her on fire. We can't afford to hesitate. Don't give her a chance to struggle and make it clean. Well, that would be hard to do when she's on fire. If this goes even a little worse than perfectly, we'll be surrounded by guards in no time. Aren't we already surrounded by guards? Once the deed is done, we pull back the same way we came and then escape Grand Orc. Got that? Well, it sounds easy enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's move out. But all right, let's see. Well, let's just go over the setup here, although I'm not planning on changing anything. Yeah, pretty straightforward setup there. We don't really need anything special on Marco right now, but I do want to make a backup save here just in case. And then we'll climb the vines up to the princess's room. There's no one here. Huh. I could have sworn I saw her go in here. Don't tell me she left the room. Well, she couldn't have gone far. This isn't good. If we have to find her again... Hmm. Why, why do you say that? It's a trap! Rainy, Marco, we need to get out of here, now! And find the princess! Hey! Uh-oh. That's... <laughs> How did they find us so quickly? That's... So it was a trap! Fool! You insolent fools! Who keeps leaking our plan? For boss time against the Grand Org Patrol Agents. Okay, so first things first, let's get Magic Boost on Rainy there. And these guys have no elemental weakness, but let's see, if I do a assault and any elemental spell that should be able to take out at least the one guy. Good enough. Ow. Yeah, I want to take out the guys up front first. Because the ones in the rear, yeah, they do speed debuffs and healing and all that stuff, but they're not really much of a threat. Now, I do need three consecutive turns for our next one. So, let, yeah, let's get that going. Okay, and then, yeah, let's just keep on pulling these guys around. I hope I'll be able to take out that guy. Yeah, I should be able to get him. Here goes. But yeah, once you take out the agents up front, the rest is... Relatively simple. This is looking bad. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. Quit whining, Marco. And let's see. I'm just mixing up my elemental spells just Take for this. the hell of it. Thunder. Easy enough. Watch them into the air. We did it somehow. Ah, oh, come on! Abort the mission. We've got to get out of here. Swipe left! Swipe left! How could they have known we were coming? Could there have been a double agent? Apparently. There's no time to talk. Head for the underground cells. Boo! Well, so much for infiltration success. Oh, you know, I want to show something. If you go up here, you get blocked by an invisible plot wall. So, yeah, we can't uh, do anything up there. Is there anything else around here? I don't think there is. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Nope, nope, there is nothing up there. Okay, let's get back down and get out of here. Whoa! Yeah, we got guards all over the place now. Okay, so let's see. Let's heal off just a little bit. That ought to be good enough. I will want to fight some of the enemies on the way out. Looks like trouble. Nuts. I have the skill I need now. It'd be best to avoid open confrontation. Yeah, so I mean, I can use Vanish to skip all of them, and I will do that a little bit. Game. But, I do want to take on these guys. Okay, so let's see. If I go... Let's see, if I get a magic boost going there... Yeah, we should be able to 
get this moving. Okay, and then Marco. Hmm. No, I'm gonna need to change something a little bit. Let's go. Hmm. You know, actually, let's not go with the magic boost. Let's just make this a little easier there. Okay, if we go like that, then grapple. Wait, did I hit the right one? I think I targeted the wrong guy. Ah, okay. No, I had the right one. Okay, and then, yeah, we're gonna have to do this a little awkwardly, but we should be good. Okay, go left assault, right assault, that'll get them all in the same tile. And then two of any elemental spell Let's that I do. Here goes. Uh -oh. Did we get him? Hey, hey all right. We did it. Not exactly the cleanest fight, but it will do. And we get a new ability that we'll never use. Yeah, speed break is yeah, not so good. Okay. Okay, and there we got another new enemy, Let's the Heavy Granite Guy. And these guys ha have a lot of physical and magical defense, so I definitely want to use magic boots. Okay, if I go push, left, pull, that ought to get the job done. Hmm. Yeah, we'll be fine. I was concerned about how many available turns I had, but no, no, we'll be good. But yeah, as you can see, the Heavy Granite Guys are, well, they occupy two tiles at a time. And they are weak to thunder, so I want to take advantage of that. Make sure you target the heavy granite so the spell will hit anyone on the same tiles as they are. Here goes. We could have met up with them a little bit earlier in the vault of time, but we did it. Yeah, I thought they would have been too difficult to do at the time. Heck, doing it now is still pretty tough. Okay, now there is one more new enemy that I want to look for around here. It's the enemy! Here it comes! If I can find them, great. If I'll not... Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! I'll protect you. Nuts! You guys keep on swarming me like that. And that is not the enemy Let's I'm looking for. There is another enemy that I can meet up with around here. All right. That you can't see the on the exploration map here. There it is. Wow, I'm surprised I got we it so quickly. Quick. Yeah, the Granorg Spy. I think they were called... Uh, what was it? I think they were called Sand Hunters in the original. But then they changed it so that way they didn't use the same name for multiple enemies. Or at least not as much as they did before. Oh, actually, no. I need to uh, get magic boost on Rainy there. And this will take a little while, but otherwise, yeah, you saw those sand hunters, hope or Granard spies there. Maybe they're the ones that leaked our plans. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's mix it up a little bit. I, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to take the guy out if we do it this way anyway. Just try to alternate between physical and magical attacks if we can. Here goes. How about this? Launch them into the air. Hip, hip, hooray. Oh, shielder. That's like that guard boost ability that Marco has, but I don't use them that often. Okay, well that's all the new enemies around here, so let's get out of here. But yeah, I don't think you ever see a Grand Orc Spy on the exploration map here, for some reason. But all right, let's get out of here. Hmm? The entrance to the underground waterway. It's blocked from the inside. What the? So it was a trap after all. So open it up. It looks like we're running out of options. Nuts. Hey. Hmm? Did the guards just say that, or what's going on? Ha <sighs> <sighs> ha! Hey, who's there? <sighs> oh, haven't seen you before. I don't think. <sighs> Come with me if you want to live. 
<sighs> we have no proof we can trust you. Well, he did just kind of save our ass. Besides, the waterway's entrance is blocked. How else are we going to get out of here? There's no way out. <sighs> oh. Well, yeah, that would be a good idea. <sighs> Maybe we could just turn ourselves invisible. Oh, must have been heights. <sighs> must have known we would have gotten into trouble, huh? And he does have a unique sprite, so... What should we do, Stock? If we stay here, our chances of making it out alive are even slimmer. Let's follow him. So, did you just happen to have a key? Or what? Who are you? Yeah, and what description? Whoa! Oh, right. The Resistance? Why would the Resistance be in a place like that? Why would you care about us? We just tried to kill the princess. <sighs> How do you know my name? Whoa! How do you know anything you know? <sighs> hmm. Well, at least that was easy to get out of here. Isn't this the bar we were in before? Oh, yeah. Looks like it. At least we might be able to relax a little here. <sighs> Thank you for your hard work, Otto. Aww. Are you the one who had us rescued? That is correct. I hope you weren't too shaken. Please, allow me to introduce myself. But first, Marie, if you could please take my cloak. Yes. So who is That's that? Better. Now I can introduce myself properly. My name is Erica, the first princess of Granorg. What the? So, do we kill her now? Oh, well, she kind of has a gun. Or whatever that thing she's holding. Well, I guess it's a sword. Or Erica? Hmm? Why'd the music cut out? Why is that? Huh. That's weird. Yeah, there's no way we could have known her from before. Before now. Huh. Eh, it's probably not important. Well, I suppose we did see her in the palace just now. Uh, Erica? That golden hair. It's her! Do they even know what our mission was? Whoa! So? We got past all the guards to get out of the palace. I have some idea of what your mission is. But please, lay down your arms and listen to what we have to say. Or what? If possible, we could use your help. Why would we want to help you? What? Are you serious? You're on the ba bad guy's side. First, let me ask you. What do you all think about this war? Well, we kind of don't want to die. Well, that was kind of out of the blue. Hmm. If it's an answer you want, then this war is my job. <sighs> well, that's in the other timeline, I thought. He's right. That's more or less what war is. Yeah, we kind of kill people indiscriminately. To defeat foes in the name of a country, the state affairs of the enemy are inconsequential. You guys got problems on your end. That's, well, your problem. Hmm. That's just our way of protecting our homeland. My country is dear to me, and this is the only way I know how to show it. Oh. Thank you. Hmm? I can accept how you all truly feel. <laughs> well, thanks. Well, then... what? Then let's stop beating around the bush. Who are you all? What do you expect from us? Well, we know they're something with resistance.
What's going on? <laughs> Please do, Pierre. Yep. Isn't Erica part of the current regime? Hmm, I would think she's a little young for that. But this is JRPG after all. Sounds like Granorb's problem. That has nothing to do with us. Or are you considering hiring us to assassinate Protea? We could do that too. No. What do you mean? Annihilation? A kingdom's revolution and the end of the world hardly seem related. You'll have to explain that one. Yeah, that doesn't exactly sound logical to me. <sighs> well, this may be a bit long-winded, but please be patient with me. Well, I've gotten through the, enough of the plot up to this point. In a time long past, there was an empire on this continent with great power. Oh yeah, I think I heard something about that. Its name is lost to the ages, but it is known that they thrived on the fruits of mana. Where do we get these fruits? That empire vanished without a trace. And as a result, the mana of the land became unstable. Oh. Hmm, I wonder what happened. To this day, the balance of mana has not been righted. And we all live with the empire's folly. How do you know about that, then? You may not know this, but when a living organism is drained of mana, it is reduced to sand. Oh yeah, we heard about that sand plague. The same principle applies to our continent. Hence the desertification it faces now. In other words, the instability that Empire caused lies at the core of our current predicament. Oh, okay. Well, isn't it a little late for us to do anything about it? What? But the desertification's the whole reason we're at war to begin with! You're really telling me it all comes back to this mysterious lost Empire? Well, even if it does, what difference does that make? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, why doesn't anyone else know about this? Then, is it also the cause of that mysterious sand plague? That I am unsure of. Still, there is one thing we know for certain. The direct cause of the land's desertification can be linked to Granorg's royal family. Oh, okay. Huh? Didn't you just say the Lost Empire is at fault? How is the royal family implicated? Yeah, what, what's Protea's problem? The kingdom of Granorg was founded by the remnants of that empire. We are their bloodline. Oh. And through that blood, we have inherited the ability to control mana, be it ever so slightly. Thus, we also inherited a duty. A duty to keep the mana of the entire continent stable. So, why don't you do that then? It's a spell that we in the royal family refer to as the ritual. Oh. Wait, you can stabilize mana? What happens when you do that? So, why haven't you done it already then? The desertification stops. Hey! <laughs> really? So, get on with it! If it's only a ritual that must be performed, why has the problem persisted for so long? She said she can stop it. Not ended entirely. Isn't that good enough? Exactly. The spell can only stabilize the balance of mana temporarily. Over time, the balance is slowly lost again. It never truly ends. That's... After all, the Empire destroyed the very core of nature that maintains mana's balance. Oh, where is that? Yep. Oh, well, good for us, I guess. I was going to say good for them, but no, that isn't exactly good for them, huh? Oh, what happened? I assume you're referring to the passing of King Victor and Protea's rise to power. If memory serves, that's about the time the desertification gained momentum. That is correct. I would think that would have been a while ago. Needless to say, my stepmother is not royal blood having been a commoner before marrying. Oh, yeah. In other words, she cannot perform the ritual. Nuts. Yep. So, can we kill her, then? Nuts.
Why not? That is why I emphasized this earlier. I would think it would be in her own interest of her own survival to let Erica do the ritual. The royal family is the direct cause of the intensified desertification. I don't think they ever explain why Protea won't let her do that. At this rate, I would say our continent will be nothing but sand in less than ten years. What? Ten years? That's all the time we have? What about Celestia? They seem to be doing just fine. You expect us to believe a crazy thing like that? Ten years? No, less than ten years? That's preposterous. Yeah, that couldn't possibly be true. Both of you, calm down. <sighs> but we'll all be dead then. Yeah, there was what, uh, Lipti and Teo, yeah, were saying about all this. Hmm. Oh, yeah, maybe that's why he sent us here. Because he might have known that we couldn't go through with the mission. But I thought Erica was the only one who could do that. Let's say for a moment that everything you just said is true. You still haven't gotten to the part that matters the most, Erica. Where do we fit into all of this? You haven't connected the dots. Yeah, I mean, you saved our lives for some reason. B well, that's... You're not gonna tell us, are you? I can gather that you want to perform this ritual. Why do you need our help to do that? What role are we supposed to play? You want us to role play? Uh-oh. Hey. Soldiers from the palace. Nats. They're probably looking for us. Yep. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, I have to hide my face. Marie, my cloak. R right. Enough. Well, then do it. <laughs> Aren't they going to recognize us, though? Or some of us? Hey, let's go. Hey. Ah, well, then why do we have locks on the doors? No. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So where's the bartender huh? around here? <laughs> uh oh. Sounds like a sexual predator. Hey. What? You sure you should be hitting on women while you're on the job? Mm. Well, I don't like yours. No, really. Maybe I'm hearing things, but I think I heard a captain's voice from outside. If they find out you're slacking, who knows what kind of trouble you'll be in. Ha <laughs> ha. <sighs> Say but again. Hey. What were they looking for, anyway? I mean, I would guess they were, weren't were looking for us, because if they were, they would have noticed us instantly. Hmm, yeah, probably. Maybe that was that guy who was interested in uh, Lise earlier. <laughs> oh. Well, we are spies, after all. Yeah, I was going to say. So what's the plan now, Stock? Like I said earlier, we're still missing the most important part of the story. Well, that interruption was kind of pointless. Besides, this isn't the time or the place to give our answer. And we've been talking for too long. We have? You're right. I understand. You three should leave the city for now. If it pleases you, 
Seek out the mayor of Corne Village, to the east of here. Oh yeah, I heard about that place. But please, do not forget this. The desertification will keep advancing, regardless of the raging war. If it is not stopped, even if one side wins, we will have all truly lost. Yeah, that seemed to happen in the other timeline, to an extent. All right. Lady Erica. Understood. Everyone, I leave the rest to you. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do now, then? Thank you, Otto. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hey. Well, I don't even know what you want us to do. <sighs> You're not gonna tell us, are you? Hmm, I wonder why they call her that anyway. You've returned, Stock. You have finally met her. Uh, who? She will have great influence on how your future is shaped. Oh, really? Let us now add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. Or we can do side quests! Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. But how many quests does the Messia have for us this time? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!